Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Take some more example. Here again we have to determine the relations reflexive, symmetry and transitive. Relation R in the set Z of all integers defined as xy where x minus y is an integer. If you see this, this also will try to find without real number set. Actually in this case it's, we can't find it, it's difficult because the integers are huge, huge number of integers, difficult to find the real number set. So what we can do is, we can just try using the common sense. We'll try with the reflexive. For reflexive, what I told, a comma a should be there. Correct? A comma a. Reflexive is your own mirror reflection. You are standing, you are standing here also. And let's suppose this is a mirror. That's how it is. So that means x comma x should exist. x comma x exists. x comma x is nothing but x minus x is integer x minus x is nothing but 0 and 0 is integer we know that since 0 is integer we can say that it is reflexive for any value of x x minus x is integer so we can say that this is reflexive so this is done for symmetric what I told if a1 a2 exists this should imply a2 even correct so if a1 a2 exists this means a1 minus a2 is integer if a1 minus a2 is integer we can say that minus of a1 minus a2 is also integer if the number is integer negative of the is also integer or we can say that a2 minus a1 is also integer if a2 minus a1 is integer we can say that a2 comma a1 is a member of this set. See what I have done? a1 a2 is integer that is a1 a2 is a member of this set. This implies a1 minus a2 is an integer. This also implies minus of a1 minus a2 is also integer. Correct? Because negative of integer is an integer. And this is nothing but a2 minus a1 minus of a1 minus a2 is nothing but a2 minus a1 is integer. If a1 2 minus a1 is integer, this means that a2 comma a1 is a member of the set. So it is symmetric also. Done deal. Now for transitive, what do you do? For transitive, we have to prove that if a1 a2 is member and a2 a3 is member, this should imply that a1 a3 is also member. Now if a1 a2, let's suppose we take x, y, z or a1, a2, if a1, a2 is member that is a1 minus a2 is integer, correct, this implies this and this implies a2 minus a3 is integer, both are true statements, if you add both these statements, both are integers, if you add two integers, so if you add these two what you get, a1 minus a2, this is integer, a2 minus a3, this is also integer. If you add two integers, you get integers only. You say cancel, you get a1 minus a3. And that is also integer. So from these two, I can conclude that a1 minus a3 is also integer. How come? a1 minus a2 was integer, a2 minus a3 was integer. Since these are two integers, if I add two integers, I get integer here. So I got a1 minus a3 is integer. If a1 minus a3 is integer, that means a1 comma a3 is member of this set. Since a1 comma a3 is member of this set, this means it is transitive. Correct? We have solved this question without finding the relation set. Very simple. For reflexive, a1, a1, that is x, x is the member, yes. For symmetric, a1, a2 is a member, implies a2, a1 is a member, true, symmetric. For transitive, a1, a2 is a member, a2, a3 is a member, this implies a1, a3 is a member, if this holds true, that means this is transit. Let's take on my exam. Here we have determined if the relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Where A is the set of human beings in a town. So this is nothing but A. 
We will have some human beings. I will draw some. Some human beings in the town. This guy is let's suppose small a, small b, small c, small d, and all. So the first is relation where x and y work at the same place. The second is where x is exactly seven centimeters taller than y, and the third relation is where x is the y of y. For all these three, we are able to determine whether it is reflexive, symmetric, or transitive. So first, let's take one. For this, reflexive. Now we have to find for reflexive. For reflexive, what I told, it's a mirror reflection. If x comma x exists, that means it is reflexive for all the elements in the set A. So if x comma x, that means x and x work at the same place. That is true because we're talking about the same guy. This guy and this guy, A and A work at the same place. Correct. So it is true. So it is reflexive. So I'll say reflexive is true. Second is the symmetric for this. For symmetric, what I told for symmetric, if uh, x y is there, that should imply y x also, right? If x y is the part of relation set, y x should also be the part of relation set. That means if x and y work at the same place and y x say y and x work at the same place. Both are same statement. If I say a and b work at the same place or I say b and a work at the same place, both are same. So it is symmetric also. For transitive, I told x y exist, y z exist, it should imply x comma z. In this case, if I say that x and y work at same place, let's suppose x and y work at same place. Second, I say y and z work at same place, correct? This automatically implies that x and z also work at the same place. Logically, it's true, right? So if x and y are working at the same place, y and z are working at the same place, that is all are working at the same place. So x and z are also working at the same place. That means it is transitive also. So this relation on this set of people, human beings working in the same town, is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Now we'll go for the second relation. You, you please note the set A is all same. The set A has all the human beings in the town. The only thing we are changing is the relation, and that is what is making the difference. Now, the new relation says that this is gone, so I'll put in the braces. The new relation says that x is exactly 7 cm taller than y. So for reflexive, I told x and x would exist. So if I take x and x, that means x is 7 cm taller than x. That is not possible because one guy can't be 7 cm taller than himself. So it is not reflexive. For symmetric, I told if x, y exist, y, x would also exist. So x, y exists, that means x minus y is 7, that is x is 7 cm taller than y. If y exists, y, x exists, if this is existing, so we have to say that y minus x is equal to 7, that is y is 7 cm taller than x. This is not possible. If x guy, if guy x is taller than y by 7 cm, he can't be shorter than that guy, right? See, if this guy is x, is taller if this guy is x, then this guy is y. If this guy is taller than x is taller than y, then we can say x minus y is equal to 7. But the reverse will not be true. So in, in symmetric, I told you to flip it. In this case, flipping is not working. So it is not possible. For transitive, but I told if x, y exist, y, z exist, x, z so should also exist. So assume x, y difference is 7, let's suppose this guy is uh, 20, so this guy is 30. Again, there is a guy called z and that guy has is 6. So if you see x, y exists because the difference between x and y is 20 minus 30, that is 7. So x, y exists. Y, z exists because the difference between y and z is 7, y and z exists. 
But now if you take x and z, the difference between x and z is how much? 20 minus 6 that is 40. Since the difference is 14, it is not 7. So this is not part of this set. That means this exists, this exists, but x comma z will not exist in this relation set. And that means it is not even transitive. Do you understand this? What I have done? I assume x, y exists, I assume y, z exists. With that, I got the hypothetical figures, and then I found that x, z will not exist because the difference between x and z is not 7 centimeters. So, this part is also done where we found that it is neither transitive nor symmetric nor complex. Now, the third relation x is the wife of y. Again, for reflexive, if you see that x comma x exists, that means it is reflexive, but a person can be can't be wife of himself. Right? This guy can be this girl can be wife of this guy. So one girl can't be wife of himself, and one guy can't be uh, wife of himself. So this is not possible. This is an impossible scenario. So reflexive is not part of this. Thing. Second is say for symmetric, it says that if x y exist y x should exist that means if i'm saying that x is y of y this should imply that y is y of x that is incorrect because if x is y of y y is actually husband of x not y of x so this is not existing flipping is not working here flipping is not working here so it is not even symmetric similarly now x is y for transitive now let's go for transitive. For transitive I told if x y exist, y z exist, so x z should also exist. So I'm saying that x is wife of y, that is x is female and y is male. If y is male, this guy will not be wife of anyone. So this relation itself won't exist. Saying x is wife of y, so y is male. So y can't be wife of any one so this you won't even get this one this is the difference theory altogether so that means this is not transitive right so what you observe for the same set a sometimes we got transitive sometimes reflexive sometimes symmetric based on the relationship we choose thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.